You can actually see Rebecca right here. So she is in a uh, her Wesker core attire. Yeah. Um, she has nice, uh, nice, lovely eyes, as well as you can see on her chest. You can see the mind control device that Wesker oh. would use for Jill. That's right. Uh, yeah, in RE5. Ask. Uh, so that's Jill if you're wondering why she's uh, she's working with Wesker. Right. Right. Well, a would make sense in the normal timeline because he was her super, like the supervisor. <laughs> yeah, the head of uh, the Stars Alpha team at least. But wow. uh, uh, yeah, M major spoilers by the way. But the game is what 2002. The game was released in 2002, yeah. yeah. So, And it is now coming out on what? Uh, it'll be coming out on Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the PC. And so that's early it'll next be, year? Yeah, it'll be 1999 uh, on January 19th. Okay. Please identify right. so, so as you can see right here, we're going into a pre-rendered uh, cutscene, uh, CG cutscene from way back when. Yeah. So Rebecca suddenly is in her old clothes. Right. Um, it's... It's kind of fun to note that way back when, uh, when it was originally released, this looked way, way better than the in-game, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in-game cutscenes and such. And now it's with the HD remaster, it's almost the exact opposite <laughs> of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. And now we're back at gameplay. Yeah, it does like you can see like the complete overhaul of all the textures and uh, effects and everything. So if you guys could let us know, I mean, I'm trying to uh, make sure that the uh, audio and voice balance is uh, appropriate here, but if the game is too loud, if our voices are too loud, please let us know and we will uh, adjust accordingly. And there you what go. Just happened? I thought they were dead. So oh, we're so going to kind of go quickly through this so we can get to the Wesker goodness as fast as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you do have to play in the, in the regular sequence, so it'll be at the point that you unlock Billy. Um, so we're gonna try to get to that point, but uh, we, we had a save data uh, that was that already had him unlocked. But there's actually a pretty cool battle here uh, with Wesker, and it's coming up, right? Uh, yeah. So yeah. basically, kind of the first uh, first real boss of the game. We can play as yeah, Wesker. Yeah. Speaking of which, Jill, no. Billy. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? <laughs> I know we've all been fantasizing about Wesker. Right? That's why we're doing the stream. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, Your eyes are no a little bit of honey, bloodshot, man. <laughs> Your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. <laughs> handcuffs is a new brand of watch that uh, they had in this uh, timeline. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's Wesker there. Yeah. So uh, like we said, like um, the this is just kind of a bonus mode. So if you were looking forward to completely <laughs> complete new story. Yeah, you're not gonna find that, but right. you're gonna find some fun powers and Zombies. abilities in there. Monsters. Yeah. Uh, so this is the the guy who's that's the, the okay. All right. So I see there uh, carcinogen uh, uh, speedrunner. If I my my sources are correct. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And yeah, uh, we'll, I will bug Andrew here to show you some movement of what the tank controls look like. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Yeah, we can, we can do so that So basically, minute. yeah, I have the alternate controls on right now. Um, but you can choose that between those and the original controls. Uh, but even if you have the alternate controls, if you use the D-pad, you, oh, uh, really? you will walk. Ow. Yeah. So wait, See, this is why I don't use the original controls. <laughs> So yeah. So, so wait, you kind of have both active at the same time. You if do, you want? yeah. Oh. So D-pad can always be set to. Tank yeah, controls. the D-pad will always be set to the original controls. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, th this is yeah, and you can press the circle button to run. Whereas in the alternate controls, basically, uh, your run and walk speed is based on how you push the analog stick. Right. So, right. Um, so. 
yeah, basically forward, backwards, and then left and right is turn. I'm going to mm. go upstairs and get a herb real quick. Nice. And of course, just like the HD remaster of uh, Resident Evil 1, we uh, are including all the, the door transitions and such. <laughs> yeah. Because the uh, PS4 couldn't handle... No. <laughs> no, of course they can, but, you know, it's it's like a classic... It's it's Classic thing. it's like, part of it. It's like I remember uh, I remember a video a long time ago. It was like game trailers did like top ten like uh, loading screens. I and thought you were gonna say top ten doors. <laughs> no no no. <laughs> top ten loading screens and this was uh, the the res the original Resident Evil was was in there because of its you know this is Rebecca. door Over. loading screens. I'm going to skip this cutscene. Basically, he's just saying Billy Cohen, a.k.a. Respond. Wesker, is a bad guy. Yes. So, we want to get we want to get to the uh the goodness. Ah. So they want us to the in the chat over here, they want us to break the game by showing uh r running, stopping and firing. Uh maybe. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but uh, you know, movement is pretty sweet with the Wesker. So let's get to yeah. That. We'll, we will. Uh, it's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Yeah, we'll Why be getting to his uh, some of his advanced movement you? options yep. shortly. Listen, little girl. If you have it's not like Marvel Three wave dashing or anything. Training. But it almost is, though. Oh, yeah, kind of. But if any of you have played Mercenaries, it's I believe the uh, what is it the um, I don't need huh? Your help. Wolf Force? Force? And don't call okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, Miss Do It Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca yeah. Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Because uh, he had like oh, the Jaguar Rebecca. kick. He Why had the what was it? The while I wait here. oh man, I need to remember all his fancy animal moves. <laughs> all right. So Rebecca goes upstairs. Hello, Popcorn Flakes eighty two. This is the official Capcom stream. And there was another question here I saw. Uh, Weasel17 says, guys, I must know is that co if that costume will be in the main game. Uh, yeah, so we covered it a bit earlier. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be in the, um, it, once you beat the game, uh, you unlock this. So Yeah, so there's a number of, uh, number of costumes you do Sir. get when you... Um, the game that you might remember if you played the original 2002 version. So this is kind of in addition to the bonus uh, right, right. mode, you get the, the costumes as well. Uh, Cherry Darling, we are located in the uh, city of San Mateo, California. So not too far from Redwood City. What is that? Yeah, nuts to this. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Ignored. Oh, gross. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Don't look, everybody. This isn't Wesker at all. <laughs> uh. By the way, if anyone has any uh, any questions, um, feel free to ask. We'll answer anything that comes up that's appropriate to answer. Are you okay? Yes. Andrew knows almost everything. That's true, yeah. Me. Yes? Yeah. I'm yeah. Not just about Resident Evil either. Yeah, well, it's uh, you know, you know about trains. I know you do like uh, riding trains. I do, yes. Yeah. So no, none have been this nice, though. <laughs> and none have had a uh, a large anime man singing on the outside. Anime man. <laughs> that guy. So it's Billy's voice right now, but once you play as Wesker. Yeah. So actually, I'll be uh, showing this right after this cutscene. I can't wait. Snore, tell me. <laughs> but basically, yeah, we. Uh, you will hear Wesker's voice when we're actually in there, uh, and we actually did get um, DC Douglas, the current voice okay. of Albert Wesker, to play this. So, yeah. uh, technically, Wesker in Resident Evil Zero has three different voice actors. If you play through Wesker mode, 
He huh. has the voice actor for Billy Cohen in these cutscenes. Yeah. He has DC Douglas in the uh, in the in-game stuff, and he has Richard Wog as Wesker in the normal <laughs> Wesker cutscenes. Oh, cut right, 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 because it was the original. Uh, the original voices from t t 2002. From 2002. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, all right. So. So here we go. Uh, Zolfike is asking how much will it cost on PC? Uh, will there be any special editions? So there, it'll be 19.99 on PC, uh, yeah. same as all the other consoles. U.S. dollars, we're talking here. Yeah, um, and special editions. Uh, there's not really, but if you do pre-order either, yeah. um, either Resident Evil Zero by itself or the Origins Collection, which is mm. the uh, Xbox One and PS4 version of the game that includes both this. And Resident Evil uh, HD Remaster from last year. Right. Um, you can get some pr uh, pre-order costumes. So Got it. Here's a. You can hear uh, Wesker talking right here. I don't need this. So that's what he. That's what he says when he's uh when he's like leaving someone alone. Come. Okay. So he says so like little little bitty lines. Uh, right. I'm gonna, and then if you tell him to stay with Rebecca. I'll go. <laughs> he just kind of harumphs. <laughs> That's fine under his breath. Uh, but yeah, we like I said, we just actually announced the uh, the pre-order costumes for Resident Evil Zero, the digital edition. Yeah. Um, and you can look on Capcom Unity uh, oh for yeah, that. We, we'll we'll put a link on the on the chat here real quick. Yeah. Uh, of just that. Um, which ones is the uh, is it the cheerleader? Yeah. So yeah. for Rebecca, she gets a cheerleader outfit, uh, which yeah. you might remember from Resident Evil: Deadly Silence. Oh uh, really? On okay. the DS, uh, note the clever subtitle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she wore that cheerleader outfit as kind of one of the alternate costumes. Right. Uh, and then Billy actually gets a Wolf Force costume, and you may yeah. or may not be familiar with Wolf Force, but that was the kind of the recon mercenaries team in uh, the sequel to Commando. Oh. Uh, the sequel to that was called Mercs, and so if you type in like Capcom Mercs um, you might see the cover art and uh, Billy is dressed in the same sort of shirtless right, right, right. shirtless buff uh, <laughs> buff man look buff man uh, <laughs> so yeah I have a quick question here so uh, actually a bit of a request can you quickly show partner movements and the C stick equivalent oh sure uh, well no unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> I can show it when we get back together yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically it would be uh, you would just use your two analog sticks, and now you move both characters at once. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and that works really well with the alternate controls. Uh, Sono Kamon May. Let me check real quick. We are using the uh, Audio Technica BPHS One headset. Yeah. Type it in the chat real quick. All right, now we get to the good stuff. So, I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with Albert Wesker. Number one, um, because again, because he's in, he has his Ouroboros powers, he can do a few cool things. First thing is you hold down the run button. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's see that. You see him kind of go into this like. It's crouching. Real, yeah, really weird runner's pose. Uh, but he, what then are you, you talking about? I do that every time I have to catch my train. But then, well, yeah, and then you go this fast. Here we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can you can uh, tap uh, circle and, and the other direction, and, and he'll he'll change the direction real quick. So. Yeah. So basically, for you speed runners out there, like this is oh the yeah, character is, for you. This is speed running over here, literally. You even have like the little ring <laughs> yeah. sound effect, which. Sounds similar. Sounds familiar. All right. Uh, what else does he have? Oh, well, we'll show us. So some enemies yeah, that, first, that uh, first, let me get this key so we can progress. Yes. The key and the microwave. So as you can see, he does have a um, a gun with him, so you can take down enemies as you normally would. Uh, he also has B Billy's knife. Oh, cool. Um, so you can still slash people if you if you want, but really. You didn't. Uh, you're not playing as Albert Wesker just to, you know, cut people with a knife. Right. Yeah. He's, he's not meant to be a shanker. 
<laughs> he is meant to just completely demolish enemies. So here we go. Oh. All right. Push All right. him away. There you go. So he has we got. this right here. You charging it up? I'm charging it up. Oh, you have, to, you have to let go of the other one. <laughs> all right, so, so all right. this is user this is, user error right here. User error. All right, let's do all it. Right. Let's, actually, you can get a nice closer look. You can let go at any point. Just let go of the square. Yeah. Um, oh man, I'm failing. Oh, everyone's get watching. Get wrecked. Yeah. No, everybody turned away for that. Don't worry. Boom. There we go. It's yeah. A, it's really cool when you do it right. No. I <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So basically, you do that by holding down uh, oh. your aim button and then your uh, inventory button, and yeah. then you're just supposed to let go of the inventory button. Right. If you let go of both, it just cancels it. And right. You, and so that's, you, that's and you get really embarrassed on stream. Or, or if that's part of your strategy, you can bait the enemy. You can bait the enemies, and, and then they'll grab you and, and bite you. And do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, but as you can see, like it hit both guys at once. Like there was one time we were playing around earlier, and it's like three guys at once. Yeah, and so I don't know. So we should try. It. So you can do that right away. You don't have to like fully charge. Yeah. So I don't know if that has to do with range or with power. It yeah, uh, it's actually both. Okay. So these enemies have like no health. Yeah. Right. So I wonder if like if you get yeah. to a boss or something, it'd be quicker. You can act. Yeah. So you'll absolutely see that. So you can see he's just uh, charging. There's a uh, few different levels. Oh yeah. Kind of like a focus attack in Street Fighter 4. Well, I was told it was kind of like a great sword in Monster Hunter, and it's the only reason I showed up today. Well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we can use this on the dogs right here. Let's see if we can... You can. I can hear the dogs coming around. Uh. Oh, I think I just killed yeah. them. Yeah. All right, so Weasel17, we we are about to experiment with that. Uh, we don't know exactly. What I mean, at least I don't know how exactly how many how many guys can that hit. Uh, it can hit at least three simultaneous dudes. Yeah. So, uh, lo what is it? Lolita, Lolita Medicine. Yes, the tank controls can be used with the analog stick. Uh, you have to set it up in an option. Yeah, the option it's it's in the options menu. Speaking of Lolita, I just want to say. All right, do this. All right, I, so this game takes place in uh, on July twenty third, nineteen ninety eight. So right. while we're getting to this boss, uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of a history lesson on what actually Re what Re Rebecca and Billy and Wesker would have been watching and listening to at that time. So <laughs> this, and one of the movies that was out on July 23rd, 1998, was, in fact, Lolita. Directed by Adrian Lyne. Uh, there was also Saving Private Ryan, very good film. Probably That was probably, uh, you know, Billy's pick. Yeah, uh, and saying. Rebecca would have liked The Parent Trap, starring <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> um, and then maybe Wesker would have liked The Mask of Zorro with Antonio Banderas. Uh, uh, fun, fun fact, one time I, I dressed up for Halloween as specifically that Zorro, Antonio Banderas. Nice. Right, yeah. uh, Attempted a mustache and everything. That failed horribly. And then, let's see. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the music at the time, the number one song in the USA was uh, The Boy Is Mine by <laughs> Brandy and Monica. And then after that was Too Close by Next. So very R&B heavy time. Hey, uh, th yeah, I know. So uh, third place was, uh, what, Mariah Carey, My All? Uh, Shania Twain, you're still the one in fourth place. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, Usher's My Way, fifth. Only 90s kids will remember this. <laughs> Man, that's the headline of the article, pointing back to this. <laughs> this live stream. Um, I think I'm... <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I am uh, I'm out of space, so <laughs> let's just go back. Yeah, I bet none of you are expecting a uh, little... Pop culture history yeah, lessons. Yeah, like to be this informative. What else do we have here? No? Magazine covers at a time? Where are you getting all this information, Andrew? Uh, whatever <laughs> whatever <laughs> website I <laughs> typed in July 23rd, 1998 on. <laughs> uh, comes up first uh, thing on Google is, I don't know, this website maybe. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's go. Oh, man. Wow, was, one light bulb at a time. Yeah, I was really impressed. That was a. All right, so here we have the stinger. You sure it's not Phantom? 
So uh, we'll just we're gonna try to. Oh please don't. Oh what? no! So that doesn't work. So let's see what happens. Bullets don't work on it. Uh, they they would, but this works better. Ah. Is it working? Yeah, it is. He's like. He's really tough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. It's tough because he's like off camera. <laughs> yeah. Is it? You know, it's tougher to get the uh, full impact. But we'll. We're gonna kill him in a second. Let's so, Artemis311 is asking, Capcom, do you know why Albert is named Albert? From Dr. Albert Wiley? Uh, I don't know. It, it is funny, though, that we have two characters named Albert. With Albert last W. Name. Yeah. yeah, last name W. Uh, I don't know. Their mothers love them very much. <laughs> ah. Mother love is what the tattoo on Billy's on. Yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, boom. Here we go. Let Closer me. shot I of want you getting <laughs> gutted by a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm tr sorry. I'm trying to get you a good view. Are you running? Are you are you nah, low on health? Nah, I'm fine. Are you indestructible right now? He's holding his side. <laughs> He's dead right now. There we go. Oh. One more for good measure. Yeah, remember, zombie rule, double tap. Well, that's a giant scorpion, though. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so that's it. So that uh, was, yeah. So basically... He could have used shotgun, though. I right? could have used shotgun, except I didn't pick up the shotgun, because right. I had a full inventory. Uh, uh, can you pick up that shovel, or whatever that is? Lever? Yeah. So no, I can't, uh, but I'm going to just quickly use a health item. Uh, Artemis 301, yes, we, uh, we know, uh, a lot of stuff, but when it comes to, like, really, really old information about the game that is not necessarily super, super relevant for marketing, sales, and distribution, we tend to not ask, but if we ever encountered the person who came up with the name, Albert Wesker, I will surely ask them. I don't even know who you'd ask for that. Right. There's only so much information that the human brain can hold. Like maybe, <laughs> for all you know, they might. For everything else, there are spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. <laughs> may have just been one of those things where they have like those old like name generators where they have like a bunch of first names and a bunch of last names. Right. Right. But no. Uh, Oh, what am I doing? Hold on, I'm gonna go back so I can sh <laughs> <laughs> specifically show you. I'm I'm doing this the slow way. <laughs> there we That's go. That's right. Much better. <laughs> uh, so wait, Soviet boss is claiming here that Wesker can mix herbs without the mixing kit. Was that a is that a thing? Do you know? Are you familiar enough with the mixing kit mechanic? Uh, so, I th <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Like running around <laughs> this train. I would need to double check because I just I only realized that myself <laughs> after uh. I just did that. <laughs> so we may need to double check and get back to you on that one. But he, All I mean, right. he is he is a scientist in his own right. Right, and he's wearing like red glasses. So, uh, carcinogen, uh, thank you for tuning in. Good luck with your meeting. So you can, you didn't see all of them, but I killed like multiple zombies here. So oh. there are two zombies walking around. I got them both with that one shot. Nice. So it's locked from the other side. So we're gonna use the ice pick. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, I have to do it from the from the other side. 
Uh, Zul is asking if uh, Wesker's name is still Wesker in the Japanese version. Uh, yeah, I believe so. I think yeah. it's like... I don't want to like mangle, but I think it literally is like Alberto Wesker. Yeah, that's a Spanish version. <laughs> <laughs> You did this already. Oh, you can place it. Okay. Yeah. Put the shovel in there. Whatever that. It's is. not. It's <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. It's, a, it's the least efficient shovel ever. <laughs> what is it again? It's it's basically like a hook type. Oh, thing. a hook. Okay. Uh. Uh. Review copy. Um. I don't know. Review. Not, not, not off the top of my head. What about review Ooh, copies? Uh, they're asking about getting a review copy of the game. Uh, I would talk to our PR team. Yes. Uh, I will. I will ask them and see how that, how the communication pipeline works there. Um, I can find you on Twitch and send you a message with whatever I find out. Okay. So Kishi is asking, do we have to unlock Wesker mode, and what is the difference between normal mode and this? So, yes, you do have to unlock it. You have to beat the game first. And differences between normal mode and this. Like, is it... Do you mean in terms of difficulty? Or... Because... In terms of difficulty, it's a lot easier. Well, yeah, but I mean, a, as far as, like, parameter adjustment, like, the enemies would have the same amount of health. The Let's items go. would still be in the same place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I think as far as, like, the differences... Uh, all right, you made a mistake yeah. there. Oh, no, there I didn't. <laughs> See, so basically... Oh, you oh, you're controlling both of them now? Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you kind of what it's like to control both of them. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, like Andrew said, it gets easier because you have the the optic attack over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you are controlling both of them. S yeah. All right, do it, do it. Kill him, kill him. All right. Whoa. I do okay. That's not what he said. <laughs> And they both that's kind really of fall down in like a little bit of a pratfall. Yeah, that's a, that's a great gif. Uh, so. So is this. And you do. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are a perfect team. Uh, uh, the thing though is is Rebecca cannot keep up with Wesker when he's doing like a speed running. Right. So he goes like that. She's just kind of left behind. And you can control the direction he's running. All right. So. So quite large zero six is asking, can you use Wesker and Leech Hunter minigame? Mm, I don't th think you can, to be honest. Uh, uh, I haven't tried it myself, but I don't think that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, wake up, show you <laughs> is asking if Rebecca, Dark Rebecca, uh, they say, has any uh, powers. Uh, not really, right? It's no. the same. It's the same Rebecca. Yeah. She is she is as uh, as she always was. Um, yeah, we'll just go down here. We're not gonna worry about saving. If yeah, we, don't don't worry. If if we die, then stream over. Ga stream game yeah. canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> high stakes here. High stakes bet. All right. Oh. Oh, these dogs are fast. Yeah. Oh no. You you can right. be faster than that. Yeah. I'll just just do it right away. There you go. Boom. Yeah. So as you can see. Is it even hitting him? Go. Yeah. There we go. Boom. So as you can see, when you have just the tiny little uh, amount, it just does a little bit of damage and has a short range. Yeah. Whereas if you use uh, all of them, or you kind of do full charge, then it's like... Super powerful. Uh, Soviet boss, I hope that uh, scrubtastic uh, demonstration over there of him getting bit by the dogs multiple times showed you that. Answered your question. He's still he's still able to be uh, grabbed and. Yeah, so he's not invincible. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely. While charging, yeah. Yeah. Maybe while running though. That can you can we? Uh, oh man, you got a gold ring. Cause you you know you run fast and gold ring. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they give rings out these days? <laughs> I haven't watched the Olympics in a while. <laughs> but yeah, next time I'll we'll see if uh, if he can be grabbed while running. Yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty cool. 
Phantom Dance, I thought, was the name of his run. Phantom Dance? Yeah. What do you mean? In, in uh, Resident Evil Mercenaries. Name of what? Uh, Wesker's... Oh, like, his, really oh his, his run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Maybe. Dude, I, I told you what I know about Albert Wesker. is like Samurai Edge from Marvel 3. <laughs> That's his move. <laughs> uh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there isn't really a co-op mode because... Uh, my, my guess would be because there are instances okay. where there's so only one character on screen yeah, doing so this longer segment. Right? So actually, uh, co-op mode was something that they... Uh, oh, I need to pull up. Waited too long to answer this question. Uh, so basically, co-op mode was something that they actually looked into putting into the game. For this, uh, for the re-release? The HD release? For the HD release. And they tried it, and apparently it was terrible. <laughs> like, oh, I need two blocks. Uh... Alright. Maybe she can uh, pick it up. Yeah. So. You can drop items then? Yeah, we, we can drop items, but I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, but yeah, no, so it worked terribly because as you know, as you kind of saw, uh, there are moments where um, like one character will be trapped in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in like an area. The other person can't do anything about it, right? Yeah, and okay. so it's like a, you'd have one person just like standing there for you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how how quickly the other person can solve the puzzle. Right. And they're just like, oh, this is terrible. Um, yeah. <laughs> and especially if the other person took a longer time to figure out. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it basically it was something that was brought into consideration. Um, yeah. But it, the game was built as a single-player experience, and so they wanted to leave it as a yeah. single-player experience. All right. If you want good co-op with uh, inventory management like you did there, and bonus points, a hook shot, Goof Troop is your game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a that's a pull. Back to 19, whenever that was released. <laughs> yeah, only 90s kids will remember that. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> that is, that is actually one of the Capcom games I played the most growing up, because my my cousin had a Super Nintendo, I didn't. Hmm. Um, so I played mostly like Sega games, but he had the Goof Troop, and we played a ton of that. Nice. I thought you were. I thought when you. Were Whoa! Easy <laughs> there. <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, sorry to steal your thunder, buddy. Okay. Oh. So to answer the question, yes, he can be. Uh, he can be grabbed. Can still be grabbed. Wow, it's just like head explodes. Yeah. Uh. All right. Wait, Goop Troop was 1998. Was this it? This game is 1998. Wow. No, so not not the game. The the setting. The, the setting. Yeah. The setting of the game is 1998. So wow, look at that. Billy Cohen might have played Goof Troop. Yep. That's where he got the hookshot idea from. <laughs> or using the hookshot. So yeah. Uh, so Wesker is not. Absolutely invincible. Um, you gotta have some challenge in there. It's just he's really overpowered still. Right. Uh, so, question from Sophenia89. Uh, any new cutscenes and endings for Wesker mode? Uh, no. So, the uh, it is, like I said, it is just a bonus mode. Um, so, there's nothing really, like, substantively added to it. Um, right. I, and, I mean, it is... Even for a uh, for a, a HD remaster, it's still a bit of a bargain at 1999. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And yeah. I should just note this game looks really good. Oh yeah. I don't know if any of you noticed, but if you played the oh, game, they, they were saying earlier. Yeah. Some, somebody was just losing it over the backgrounds and how good they looked. Yeah. So it's actually really one cool thing about this is uh, they the development team, a lot of which were worked on the original game. Uh, they do you want to take over for a little bit? Ooh, that would be terrible, but yes. <laughs> uh, they actually worked on, or they had the original assets for the game in vector format, so they were able oh. to upscale it without any sort of quality degradation. Oh, you can change direction. Yeah, you, could do, you could do that with guns, too. But you didn't show it with the, with the 
with thingy. I never needed to. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I would hit them. Right. I would hit them. Uh, vector art, whatever. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they had it all in vector, all the artwork in vector format. So they were able to upscale it without any uh, quality degradation. Yeah. For a lot of it, which is why like the uh, the backgrounds and the character models look so good. And then they went in and actually fine tuned it. So that's why it just looks as amazing as it does. Probably going the wrong way. Just so you can talk. So, <laughs> uh, any other questions? Can you play Wesker and Goof Troop? Oh, we have uh, to we have to get that license back. <laughs> <laughs> One thing at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Uh, I mean, I I love this like, look at right right before the transition. You can see like, oh, yeah, I can sort of see here too. I tried to rotate the camera and Rebecca moved. This well, is like so great. his glowing eyes? Yeah. Is that, oh, man. All right. Um, the controlling both of them at the same time kind of reminds me of. Uh, uh, have you played that game Brothers? The Tale of. No. Yeah, Brothers? Tale uh, of Two Souls or something? Tale of Two Sons. Sons, yeah. The card reader. Do I have the right card? Does she have the right card? Uh, no, so you don't have. Uh, Oh, you don't have the card yet. Okay. So I can't go here. Woo. All right, let's do... Uh oh, so, okay. So, so I'm doing tank controls. If you hold up, he'll just walk. If you if you hold circle, which is the, the run button, you do that. So if you want to run, you have to first hold down circle. Yeah. yeah, you hold down circle while standing still. Okay. Uh, so I think you can go back to the uh, the that window that we were l looking at. Uh, you just have to. Oh, use the one just right now. Not not that one. Um, just uh, keep going forward, and I, you have to. J I think you have to use the hook shot. <laughs> hook shot. Uh, the grappling yes. hook. Uh, it says hook shot. Does it say hook shot? Uh, she has it, right? Yeah. Oh, it is yeah, hookshot. Hook okay, shot. just wanted to make sure we weren't uh, going into any sort of legal, legal copyright law. Yeah, Disney right would come in. I was like, hookshot is the property of Ghost Trip. <laughs> no, I, was, I was thinking more Legend of Zelda. So okay. yeah, <laughs> walk in front of that. Uh, so yeah, go. it's of no use right now. Uh, try, try. Uh, okay, use. Yeah, try it. Maybe, uh, maybe I got this wrong. Ooh. Oh, quakey sound effect. Yeah, that, there you go. Awesome. Uh, where's Wesker? Why is she crouching? Would you want to stand up on a train that's going that fast with the wind whipping in your face? I mean, where's Wesker, really? Uh, he's he's chilling down below, I guess. Uh, which way am I going? I think you go to, uh, oh, up there, up up. Oh yeah. To the the front. That it's re she's really slow. Oh, okay. Maybe you do have to go down here. Yeah. It's been. Can you believe this game is 13 years? So I played this when it originally came out, uh, back in 2002. This game wow. is 13 years old now. It's gonna be 14, or 13 and a half when it releases. It's okay. old enough. This game is old enough to have a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, like at this point, and right. its parents would oh, not be upset with it. Nah, uh, my parents would. <laughs> it's a different story. Okay, go. Go back to the world of the dead. Uh, oh. Jewelry box. Like you want, well you might want to uh, yeah, next yeah. time you have the chance to heal. Right now. Boom. Uh, can I examine? Yeah. Okay. Ah, you ah. got the silver ring. There you go. Mm. So you're saying these are the, the the textures that were like vector or no? Well, y yeah. So basically, like all the uh, like the actual environment and the oh, okay. character model textures. And I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this one was too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said they had almost everything that wasn't like pre-rendered. Right, right. Uh, in the they being the uh, the development team. 
All right, we got a question from uh, Vimto. What engine is this running on? Is same as DMC4 Special Edition or the first remake? Uh, DMC4 Special Edition was MT Framework. This is uh, that's an excellent question. I would almost wow. I would be surprised if it was not the same engine that Resident Evil the Resident Evil One remaster was on. Right. Um, because they were made around the same time. Um, but we might have to look into that. Yeah. Okay, so what happened there? Like, I tried to open a door, but then... Ooh, gross. Stained with someone's blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm so funny. Well done. Uh, you, you made a humor. <laughs> uh, uh, so I can't go this way? Tr try it again. If at first you don't succeed, right. give up. <laughs> okay, uh, so gross. yeah, now we have leeches kind of going around. So um, can they can they go downstairs? No. <laughs> uh, I see. I see people uh, laughing over there. Oh, there you go. What? What? So yeah, I so went around that way, and it could have just gone upstairs. Or was that door locked? That door was. So basically, when you tried opening the door for the first time, it kind of shook all those leech eggs. Oh, right, right. And so they all just hatched, so then you were able to open the door. So am I going there now? Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> so you can... So yeah, try doing his uh, his eye blast <laughs> with all these leeches in here. Try doing a full, full power one. <laughs> just stepped on one of them. So, this is really convenient for clearing out the leeches. Which is something you have to do? Uh, you don't have to have to, but they can be a kind of annoying enemy. So, yeah, yeah, now you're able to go on. I would recommend maybe calling Rebecca so you have your... Oh, how do I call her? Uh, it is R2. I think you have to be in the same room. So there's a physical release of this? This is your chance. Roger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about that. Physical release uh, is um, called Resident Evil Origins Collection. Um, in like I mentioned earlier on in the stream, contains both the HD remasters of Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero. Uh, same release date, January 19th. Uh, the price, basically equivalent to buying the two games digitally separately. Uh, oh. It's $39.99 instead of $19.99 a piece. Technically, you're paying a penny more for, for the disc. <laughs> but um, main point of it is just kind of if you prefer physical, yeah, we're giving yeah. you an option for that. Um, so it's... Well, I mean, for some people, I think, uh, you know, it just saves room on your hard drive and such. So yeah, exactly. And it's like, it's, we didn't want to... There's no sort of content, um, like... Differences in content in the in the physical version versus the digital version. It's literally just whatever your preference is. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to give those options there. Um, uh, I'm going the wrong way. Because we've been here before, right? Uh, you have been here before. But so should I keep going here? No. Uh, so that's going to take you down to the, uh, the, the kitchen area again. Oh, do I want to go there? Oh, no. Uh... Let me uh, let me take a look real quick. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I need okay, yeah. So actually, what I need the shotgun. Yeah. Apparently. So basically, that's that's what it was. It's a briefcase. So you can just go around this way. Oh, this way? No. no. Up, 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 up. To the right. Yeah. Keep going. There you go. Uh, so yeah, you need the briefcase. And uh, nope. Back. Oh, that door. Yeah, that one right there. Um, and basically, you combine that with the uh, with the one of the two rings. So yeah, I had skipped through this when we when we went through oh, here the first wait. time. Oh wait, there's a deodorant. Very useful now. Oh, I can't take this. Oh. Yeah. So you have a fairly limited inventory. Uh, you might want to drop some items. Goop troop. You only had one slot per character. 
damage. If you play are you, are you, are you, are you, you have two slots. I'm are you uh, trying to <laughs> imply that you want to have a goof troop stream? Uh? One day, yes. Can I? Uh, what should I drop here? Uh, I mean, and it, it's all just going to appear on the floor, so oh, okay. might as well drop the knife if you can. Yeah. Weave. There you and go. Then what else do I need? Uh, I'm going to need like two slots for the shotgun, right? Yeah. Though, <coughs> first, I would go for the briefcase. Is that two slot too? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Where's briefcase? There's an ink ribbon. All right. Well, in that case, yeah, just drop one of the other things you have and pick up the shotgun. Drop your actual gun. Oh. oh. We're gonna have Wesker just be and uh, pass those bullets over to Rebecca. Uh, same menu, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she can't hold uh, anymore. Yeah. Oh, wait. Add over to... Uh, L2 oh. and R2. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to be playing Wesker as pure... Pure... Um, pure raw energy. Except he has a shotgun now. Pure raw Hunting shotgun. Gun. Hunting gun. Wait. So, not, nothing comes up when I, uh, <gasps> when I just hold aim mode. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, should I equip then the shot? Is this coming to PS3 360? So yeah, the digital version uh, is going to be coming to the uh, the PS3 and the 360. Uh, Resident Evil Origins Collection, the physical version, is only PS4 and Xbox One. Right. But the yeah, for the digital version, it's all um, yeah. Basically, if you own some major uh, gaming platform you should be able to play it. Uh, which way now? Uh, Where's, so the Where's the map? Is there a map? Uh, there yeah, is a map. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man. Where? oh, is this the roof? Yeah, it's the roof. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this the blue item over here? That's uh, highlighted there? Because this is where we are. The two little red mm -hmm. dots. Oh no, the two arrows. Yeah. Or the arrows. And then there's this one on the first floor. I don't I don't think so. Let me I think that is a uh that's a door. Let me let me just double check. Okay, actually no, the briefcase was in the conductor's room. Conductor's room, yeah. which is we, remember when we went up to fight the boss? Uh, yep. yes. Alright, you'll, you'll, you'll take this back. I'll just quickly run over there real quick. <coughs> I'm, I'm kind of horrible with, uh, with retention for the first time of, like, you know, running through an area. And this, this bit me in the butt a couple of times when I was playing, like, a game like Bloodborne that has, like, intricate maps, like, that connect in multiple ways. Oh, yeah. It's like, the first time I went to the map, it's like, I die. I was like, "All right, I'm back at where I was, but I have no clue where to go." <laughs> but you can remember every that, mm, every monster's strengths and weaknesses, right? Monster in Hunter. Monster Hunter, yeah, sure. That's, that's different, right? All right. But, uh, There's a briefcase. But you know, after I do it multiple times, uh, I finally got it. It was the same thing with Resident Evil. So uh, when I played uh, a while ago, I was playing uh, Code Veronica mm -hmm. X, and it was really struggling with that. Ooh, combined. And then. Uh, With a one golden ring. It's that time. Indeed. It almost is, yes. Alright. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was the weirdest opening animation I've ever yeah. seen. It's, it's like Back of gum. collapsing in on itself. Oh, All right, so we got a uh, the blue key card. Let's uh, look at this guy. His name was Ex Jimmy Lewis. Wow, he looks a bit like a oh my god, <laughs> Ecliptic Express. Yeah, the Ecliptic Express. That's the name of the train we're on. Huh. Oh wait, go go back. Uh, 
What's that, uh, 29, 13, 2002? 2002 is probably the game's release. Yeah. Uh, those are probably other references to other things. 004 meaning the fourth number in the... In the... In the, uh... Arabic system. <laughs> <laughs> Arabic counting system. <laughs> Actually, the fifth one, if you count zero. Uh, zero is not a number. <coughs> Alright, we'll talk about this after the stream. We have to slide it over there, man. Semantics. <laughs> <laughs> the game beats you at semantics, for sure. There you go. Oh. Oh, man, I, th I thought that was, like, a sound from, like, the streaming computer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Stream's broken. Oh, man. Cancel like, the what, game. It's overheating over here? Uh, All right, here we go. Gravin uh -oh. Darken. Who is this guy? This is a uh, this is a remaster of Resident Evil Zero. <gasps> this does not make any sense. What's going on? He's in two places at once. Contaminate both the lab Breaking some law as well as a train almost three miles away. That's irrelevant. We must make sure. No <laughs> yeah. <of this> gets <laughs> out. yeah, we've established he can go pretty fast. Completely. Uh, how far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to. Huh? What happened? My glasses. Oh, gross. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. So yeah. So now you've heard all three voices of Wesker in. <laughs> <laughs> in this mode. Including his impersonation of Billy Cohen. <laughs> uh, you said this was uh, this was canon, right? <laughs> yeah, th so no. it's, it's more than just canon. We're actually erasing all the other <laughs> games. And there is only Wesker mode now. For those of you that just tuned in, we're being funny. Or trying to. <laughs> this is not canon. Failing. <laughs> Failing at being funny. I, I still don't regret my Chris's blood joke, <laughs> so... Uh. It'll be on your tombstone one day. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a question way back earlier. Can you attack you after his uh, run? Or no, you can't, right? Uh, I don't... Like, so you do his run and then like you go into uh, aiming? Yeah, I think he has a, a recovery animation. For I, I believe there is. Um, and it's also, yeah, because you'd have to cancel out of the run and then go into something. So I don't think it's going to be like, yeah, you're not going to do like a Marvel 3 combos mm. in this. So no teleport. No super jump. Man, a super jump in this game would be broken. <laughs> Uh, Jump out of the train. The train keeps going. <laughs> I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? It's not Be my name. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, jeez. Forgot oh, this out of time. Oh, oh, all right. Um, basically, all right. you can no, imagine no, 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 that no, the mic... On. The mind control device yeah. is making her think that is Billy Cohen. Right. Okay. So you have to finish this, and you have to tell, you have to name all the capitals of all the states. Uh, in reverse alphabetical order. Go. Sacramento, California. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> yes. I mean, now we have three minutes to spare. Oh, good job. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Stream successful. How about we ask the stream, what's your favorite state capital? <laughs> it's like the weirdest question. <laughs> oh, that's right. Whoop. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, there's a key. That. Huh? I keep forgetting he can run. I yeah, he can run. He can run. He can. You gotta remember this. You gotta remember these speed run so tactics. You gotta go fast. Man. You gotta go fast. Yeah. Channel your inner Sonic. There you go.
All right, we do have some answers. Boston, Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Wait, Boston's not a capital, is it? It is. Boston, Massachusetts. That's a city. Yeah, it's the capital of the state. Is it? Oh, wait, is it Springfield? No, Springfield in Illinois. It's Boston. Uh, okay. Dude, believe me, I, know, I lived in Massachusetts for seven years and didn't know, so I'm just guessing, too. <laughs> For the record, Sacramento is not my favorite capital. It's capital. Uh, I Sacramento is not. I wouldn't recommend Sacramento. To. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. This is, this, is, this is about video games here. Or. This is not Capcom's opinion. <laughs> it's a this fun. It's barely your opinion. I've heard that before. <laughs> it's a. F it's an okay place, uh. but it's not my favorite. It's capital. <laughs> Ooh! See that dodge. Uh. Oh yeah, Falcon Punch saying he lived in Boston for 18 years. Boston love. And that, you can have that tattoo in your arm and you'll be a little bit like Billy, but... Yeah, Boston love. Yeah. <laughs> have has some. a mother love in his arm, so you do that if you want to cosplay as Billy in, in Pax East or something. Yeah. You do Boston love instead. There you go. That's my suggestion. Eat some cream pie. What? Boston cream pie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And some baked beans. Boston cream donuts? Is that a thing? Dunkin' Donuts? Good. Do you think Wesker would like uh, no. Boston cream? It's a bit messy, like, you know. I, I feel like he's, like, the type of person that likes, like, neat little things. See how he vaporized all the leeches because he thought they were gross? That's true, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I thought that was the machine. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I should have been paying more attention. I don't know <laughs> what this code is. We're all dead. Uh, uh, what's the code? What is, what is that supposed to be? Uh, I, I skipped the instructions because I'm like, I know how to do this. Huh? Uh, you, can you pause the game because there's a timer? But I mean, yeah. have, oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. Uh, and then I'm unpause it for some some odd reason. At 36, Cursed Toast is saying 8462. All right, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Baden Kadonk says we're, we're, one, two, we're, three, actually, we're actually past the one out. You need to math your way to the number on screen. Oh, that's uh, right. It's okay. Uh, We're actually past the thing, so who knows what happens when we die. Uh, <laughs> so wait, yeah, they said one, two, three, four, same as my luggage. Lies. Okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So every time you put a number on. Yeah. Add. Okay. So just do uh, eight. Oh, we have to use all the slots. Ah, I. Just do nine, nine. Dude, nine, nine, nine. Nine. One. Okay. What? You have to match it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Six. No! Oh! All right. So anyway, we were at three hours. Three hours. We're at three o'clock. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that's why it wasn't like more. <laughs> this uh, was done on purpose, apparently. Apparently. I right, I, have, uh, I have other meetings to attend to after this. Yes. You may great, great. you may think that was an embarrassing screw up, but it little was, do you know. It was on purpose. I I needed to get to a meeting. Uh, Whatever. <laughs> 
see a lot of people saying GEG and dead, no way, gravestone, uh, hi, people that are just getting in. Hi, we have welcome, to go. welcome to the end. Uh, hello. Uh, so, yeah, we, we are, we're here, but we're about to go. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you.